going on guys, thanks for tuning back into the channel and in today's episode we're going to be rebuilding a Makuni fuel pump off a 1998 Ski-Doo Formula Z670. Um, this fuel pump um, actually technically didn't really need to be rebuilt. Um, the issue was it was all junked up because of the line disintegrating. But anyway, um, we tore it apart so rebuild kits are cheap, might as well put on new gaskets on it. Plus, it needs to be cleaned pretty bad. As you can see, this is from like the dirt and uh, old varnished fuel sitting in here so this fuel pump is pretty bad this is like all the junk that came out of it um so what we're going to need to do this is you're going to need yourself a uh, fuel pump rebuild kit here this is actually a vertex kit got this on dennis kirk comes with all new screws um diaphragms gaskets and all that and uh spring for your um, pump there so it comes with all that new stuff um and then if your fuel pump is bad like this, or even if it's not, I just like can of brake cleaner, carb cleaner, uh, just to get it cleaned up there. Um, and for this one, we're going to need a brush because this one's pretty bad. Most of them are not this bad that you're going to run into. Um, but this one is pretty bad, so we're going to use brake cleaner and a brush to clean all the stuff up. Um, but first, got to take all of these old gaskets off. Um, maybe take a picture so you remember how to put them all back together. So. Um, that way you put the pump all back together, but it's pretty easy. Uh, you just put the gaskets like this gasket um, You can see they're a certain shape, so they're not gonna go there. They're gonna go Here and there so it's pretty easy. Um, just put the gasket where where it lines up so should be no issue, but um, Nonetheless, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up here and uh, catch you back now uh, to get this cleaned properly you don't want to take the little uh, plastic pieces out here and uh, don't worry about these you have new ones in your kit so just push them out with like a pick or a little screwdriver just pop them out from the back and they'll pop right out um, so you don't need those so um, for this I recommend they use rubber gloves especially if you have cuts in your hands like me because the brake cleaner will sting um, it's not a pleasant feeling when that stuff gets in your cuts um, so anyway all you're gonna do is just spray this down with brake cleaner and uh, pretty much scrub it out just like you're cleaning anything else so get to clean this up now the final stage to cleaning the fuel pump is going to be going through all the passages where the lines hook up with some compressed air and uh, just gonna go through them all I went through them with a the brake cleaner and got the best I can but some compressed air will be able to clean that completely out make sure there's no junk in there still now that we got the pump all cleaned up here um, we can go and uh, put it all back together with all our new gaskets and diaphragms and uh, get it back together. This thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little plastic uh, pieces back in on there. They go on, there's one on each side and they both go on these, the side that um, has a raised, raised edge right there. So they just go on and then you put your little uh, rubber piece right through them and there you go. So I'm going to put them through, um, to do this, do the same technique, you took them out, but you go through this side, um, don't worry about it, just let, you can get a pick or a little screwdriver, don't worry about damaging them, um, you won't damage them most likely, just push them through until they all pop in, and there you go. So now that we got our screws all set up with our lock washer here, and we've got our uh, gaskets all laid out on the order we want, I just like to put the screws, um, like two of them, just in here to get these gaskets lined up, and then you can start stacking them, like so, and this will make it really easy to put it all back together. Um, so you're just going to continue stacking the gaskets on the way you had them. So this will make it easy to get back together. Um, and then you have your spring there, which that's going to hold that diaphragm up there. But uh, once you put it all together, such as like that, and then you can take this part and just line it up with your two screws. Make sure you have this lined up with that. So that way your fuel pump is going to work. Or else you're going to put it all together and realize it's all wrong. So there you go. You can see that's all together. And then you want to stack your one gasket right on top of that. And see how it lines up with that. And you'll want to stack your plastic, clear plastic piece on. And your second gasket, make it also um, line up with that. And have this. This is your cover plate, and this has like your uh, your threads so you can tighten the screws up. You're gonna need a Phillips screwdriver for this. 
and you can see which way this is going so you want to make sure that it gets lined up with that and there you go and now all you need is a Phillips screwdriver to tighten this up. Phillips screwdriver and all we got to do is I'm sure all of you guys know how to tighten uh, Phillips screws up and if you don't know how to tighten a screw up you probably should not be attempting to uh, rebuild a fuel pump so anyway it's as easy as that so I'm just gonna put all the rest of the screws in and uh, catch you back then so there you go you can see your fuel pump is all nice and rebuilt there put all new screws on it everything looks nice it's as easy as that don't when you're tightening these don't tighten them down like super super tight you just want to do them by hand um, I recommend doing it by hand don't use power tools or whatever and if you're gonna use power tools just drive them until they're snug and then do the final with a screwdriver so the way you can actually test it to see if you've done it right is on these fuel pumps um, when you blow into this um, don't blow in it super hard but you can blow into it and it's sh you shouldn't be able to have air come out of it so what you got to do is blow into it you don't really have any air coming out and what you can do is you can suck in with your pulse on your pulse thing because this is what the vacuum so you suck in and then you should be able to blow for a couple seconds and you can feel it the diaphragm kind of come back up and uh, close your pump back up and there you go you can't blow through it again so uh, you can pretty much just do that just make sure you can't blow right through the pump and it never closes back up because then you've put it together wrong and make sure when you suck in on this pulse it says P for pulse when you suck in on that, you can blow through here, and then it'll close back up. And that's how you know you have your pump rebuilt right, because that's what the engine will do. It'll kind of make a vacuum here a little bit, and fuel will go through, and it'll keep making the vacuum, and it'll keep pumping your fuel. The pump is rebuilt, and you should be able to rebuild yours now with minimal effort. As you can see, it's not even that hard. So there you go. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in to the next videos for some more interesting content.